time travelers of the mind inside the extraordinary world of hyperthymesia. Most of us forget. The scent of a childhood summer, the sound of a long lost voice, the exact feeling of a moment slipping by. These things fade, blur, or get replaced over time. But for a rare few, memory doesn't work that way. These individuals live with hyperthymesia, an extraordinary ability to recall the days of their lives in vivid, unrelenting detail. They can tell you what they wore, how they felt, even what they ate on a random Thursday years ago. Not just the facts, but the emotions, the sensations, the color of the light in the room. It's not a trick or a party skill. It's a cognitive phenomenon that researchers are only beginning to understand. Autobiographical memory is more than recollection. It's how we stitch together our identity. It lets us relive, reflect, and even imagine what hasn't happened yet. It's deeply tied to a kind of awareness called autonoetic consciousness, the ability to mentally travel through time. For people with hyperthymesia, that mental time travel is practically effortless. Some describe their memories as being filed in visual rooms or digital folders, palaces of the mind where every moment is stored, organized, and accessible. But it isn't always a gift. Painful memories can intrude, uninvited, and trivial ones pile up. Imagine not being able to forget heartbreak or even a boring Tuesday. For some, the mental archive becomes overwhelming. In one remarkable case, a 17-year-old girl described her memory system as a series of themed binders in a white room she can enter mentally at will. She stores grief in chests, anger in icy chambers, and problems in their own private space. Her brain has built a memory palace not just for recall, but for emotional control. Scientists have tested her abilities using tools designed to measure episodic recall and mental time travel. The results are astonishing. She doesn't just remember the past, she revisits it with cinematic clarity. She can even imagine future events with richer detail than most people can muster about yesterday. There's evidence this condition may be linked to heightened activity in brain regions tied to memory and visual processing. And intriguingly, hyperthymesia may also overlap with traits like synesthesia, where senses blend, though not all hyperthymestics experience it. Despite its mystery, hyperthymesia opens a door into how memory shapes the self. It challenges our assumptions about what the brain is capable of and what it means to remember. Because to truly understand the human mind, we must look not just at what it forgets, but at those rare minds that remember it all. This video is based on the research paper Autobiographical Hypermnesia as a Particular Form of Mental Time Travel by Valentina Lacorte et al. in Neurocase. What do you think about this research? Drop us a comment below. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more neuroscience news updates.